The creation of Abuja, Nigeria's capital city, stands as a testament to African ingenuity, ambition, and a desire for self-determination. In this video, I show you Nigeria's capital city Abuja like never seen before. From the central business districts to the mixed commercial areas. Then later in the video we visit the two most popular neighborhoods in Abuja. From its conception in the 1970s to its realization as a bustling metropolis, Abuja exemplifies the aspirations of a nation striving for excellence. Prior to Abuja's emergence, Nigeria's capital was Lagos, a city situated on the country's southwestern coast. Abuja's strategic location in the heart of Nigeria was carefully chosen to symbolize national unity and cohesion. Situated at the geographic center of the country, Abuja serves as a symbolic bridge connecting Nigeria's various ethnic, cultural, and geographical regions. This central positioning underscores the government's commitment to fostering inclusivity and representation for all Nigerians, regardless of their background or location. The planning and construction of Abuja were meticulous and comprehensive, reflecting a commitment to excellence and modern urban development. Abuja, the capital city of Nigeria, plays a crucial role in the political and economic landscape of West Africa. It serves as the headquarters of ECOWAS, a regional organization established to promote economic integration and cooperation among its member states. The presence of ECOWAS in Abuja underscores the city's importance as a diplomatic hub, facilitating dialogue and collaboration among West African nations. It signifies Nigeria's commitment to regional stability and development. Exploring this aspect of Abuja highlights the city's significance beyond its national borders, showcasing its role in fostering regional cooperation and integration. One of the most striking aspects of Abuja's development is its distinctly African character. Unlike some capital cities in Africa that bear the imprint of colonial influence in their architecture and layout, Abuja's design reflects indigenous Nigerian aesthetics and cultural heritage. The central business district of Abuja represent the economic, political, and administrative heart of Nigeria's capital city. Situated at the core of Abuja, this district serves as vital hubs for commerce, governance, and civic life, embodying the city's aspirations for modernity and efficiency. The Abuja is characterized by its impressive skyline, modern architecture, and bustling commercial activity. It is home to a myriad of businesses, including corporate headquarters, financial institutions, government offices, hotels, restaurants, and retail establishments. Abuja's layout is carefully planned, with wide avenues, pedestrian-friendly sidewalks, and green spaces interspersed throughout the urban landscape. Abuja is home to important government institutions, including the Federal Secretariat Complex, which houses various ministries, agencies, and departments of the Nigerian government. The planning and development of the CBD and administrative district reflect a commitment to efficient urban design, accessibility, and functionality. Infrastructures such as roads, transportation networks, utilities, and telecommunications are carefully integrated to support the needs of businesses, government institutions, residents, and visitors alike. Abuja serves as a beacon of hope and inspiration for other African nations seeking to assert their identity and aspirations on the global stage. Its success underscores the potential for African countries to chart their own course toward progress and prosperity, free from the constraints of colonial legacies. From the central business district, I proceeded to the mixed commercial area and popular central neighborhood.
The Maitama neighborhood, located in close proximity to Abuja's central district, is renowned for its opulence, luxury, and exclusivity. This upscale residential area is home to some of Africa's wealthiest individuals, including politicians, business tycoons, and diplomats. Often referred to as a haven for the elite, Maitama boasts lavish mansions, high-end apartments, and gated communities, offering a lifestyle of privilege and sophistication. Maitama's reputation as a sanctuary for the wealthy has not been without controversy. Critics argue that the concentration of wealth and privilege in neighborhoods like Maitama exacerbates socioeconomic inequalities and widens the gap between the rich and the poor. Moreover, there have been allegations of corruption and illicit wealth accumulation among some of Maitama's residents, raising questions about accountability and transparency in Nigeria's political elite. 